Hello there people, this is Christian and welcome back to my computer. This is gonna be a basic exercise for you who are familiar with Fusion. Look at some other video. This is just a, a bit of uh, uh, thinking on how I look at things sometimes and I avoid to look at things. Especially how I think about exercise. This is a very basic thing. There's nothing really strange about it. And when I started Fusion, yeah, I did what most people do. I would start copying and this drawing down here with like the arc, circle, lines and, and uh, sketch the side profile and stuff like that. But remember we have a lot of features within Fusion that can do things like a corner here, that's a chamfer, the arc here, that's a fillet. A hole here is a hole command, and the the part we have is, is, is a rib. We have a rib command for. So let's use the features and not sketch too much. So the question is, what do we need to sketch? We do not need to sketch anything basically in this profile here because all of this will be used um, will be done using features. We need to sketch this here because this we can't create with features. So. Let's focus on this here. We're going to need some dimensions down here, but we are having fusion here. We can do it like this, so we get both things up in front. So we can look at things, pull on that. Uh, remember, start by saving. I will not save now. I'm only doing this as a video demonstration, but remember to save. That kicks out, uh, starts up the the recovery function, so fusion will make a backup copies the whole time in the background can be really gnarly on big design but this is small ones so this works but let's start sketching so what we need to sketch is this thing here so we're going to create a sketch on this plane and i want that uh, it all depends on design intent i like to have a region point center of this circle here so i will do a line i'll just do a construction line Remember myself that this will be the center of this hole here because some of the dimensions are done for me here. So it gives me a stable point and I want to anchor things to uh, the region point down here so it doesn't move around. I will open up my sketch and see it's not fully defined. I'm using dimensions. Let's draw the rest of part L for line command, turn off construction lines and do the basic shape. I try to get the perpendicular constraints running here See if I can manage to do this and hit there and there. So we can say we got all our nice perpendicular constraints running. That's good. Gonna do some constraints now. Coincident, of course, this line here should be coincident to here. This should be coincident to here, like that. Now we can start adding dimensions. D for dimension. Uh, there are some multiple dimensions here useful and not useful so let's do the easy ones we have a long one 75 that's a good one let's use that i have a preference set so that i when i type in the first dimension it scales for full sketch so it doesn't go flying off the screen this here is 30 uh, this here should be nine and when we have a dimension from here from the center to this edge here so that's going to be from here to here that's 18 and we have a radius of 15 that means that dimension from out here to the center point of this should be 15 and let's do that and 15 and by doing that we have all our dimensions you have a fully defined not all our mention but the dimensions needed for this sketch you have a fully defined sketch everything is locked down and we're going to finish sketch we're going to do an extrude this profile, yes, thank you. Uh, to keep everything centered, we're gonna make it symmetric and the width of the part. Uh, it doesn't say anywhere, but we have a radius 15 here. That means that the uh, diameter of this arc here must be 30 millimeters. So we can do it like it's asked for. We're gonna do it 15 and that will make it uh, 30 cross because it's only dimension one side the same as the dimension in here i try to keep the numbers in my uh, design the same as in the drawing so i don't get confused you can do like that i'm going to turn on the edges so they become visible uh, we have used uh, everything we need for sketch i have turned off auto hide of sketches so my sketches remains visible so i will be need by hand hiding it and for uh, my own sanity i will open up the body to check i only have one body now shall we start with the round part here we're going to hit f on the keyboard for fill it and do a we don't need to yes we can do fill it and type in the animation but we can also do a full round fillet 
these faces here as you can see it highlights uh, adjacent faces if I do it like this the fillet will be uh, horizontally but we need a vertical so I move it out here so the sides are the side faces are marked up or highlighted click here we get a full round fillet thank you we're gonna do a chamfer I hit S on the keyboard to search for thing and use chamfer and that's are these two edges here they're gonna be nine we need a hole so we're going to do the hole command do this face here click somewhere on the face uh, and it pops up the hole and then we can drag it and we get a note on the center point of arc let's look from the top so we can check they're correct you can see we have it snaps to the center point of this arc automatically you don't need to think about it uh, the distance is going to be all because it's cut all the way through you can see my drawing here and the diameter is going to be 15 hit ok we've done everything except the rib and i need something to that so i could create a new sketch i want to do that or i can go back and edit my first sketch gonna add a line the rib is going from here to here finish sketch pops up again turn on my sketch s on the keyboard type in if i can spell things rib we get the rib command it asks for the profile so we're going to select this line here the thickness of it is symmetric so this needs to be seven from a drawing here and you can see oh it's on the wrong side so we're going to flip direction it becomes on the correct side hit ok and hide our sketch and by doing that we had created this part here yes we could sketch everything but the thing i do uh, when i see an exercise i try to do it in different ways this is very basic there are a couple of ways otherwise you do not need really need to do the rib here you can do an extrude symmetric and you can do the hole here in a couple of different ways some of them are uh, totally useless ways but they're good to know because sometimes you need to think uh, outside the box as it popularly said everybody says so with that said uh, have a good Christmas, see you around, and goodbye.